Welcome to the Windows 10 and Computer Channel and one of the things that is going to be simpler in the next version of Windows 10 version 2004 is Bluetooth pairing. The thing with Bluetooth pairing is that it's always been kind of complicated. It's always been a little touchy and then you, you know, pair a device and then you suddenly disconnects or or you try to pair but it you don't really understand how and why it doesn't want to or nothing happens or is it connected or yeah it's it's always been a little touchy some things worked great and were easy to set up some are complicated with the version 2004 Microsoft has introduced something with Bluetooth that is um, basically called Swift Pair Swift Pair means that you now have the capability of connecting devices and things can happen almost magically without you actually having much to do. And this has to do with the fact that uh, Bluetooth devices with Swift Pair, so you see here, show notifications to connect using Swift Pair, basically they connect quickly in pairing mode and rather than actually having to go here and set up some really complicated thing, it's just going to pop up in here. As it's going to say, oh, well, you know, um, this uh, th there's this thing uh, called, uh, you know, uh, whatever that wants to connect. And you'll have a little bubble pop up. And you just click the bubble and, and set up whatever connected device you want to have with it. So it's kind of interesting because you will have an easy way to actually connect any device without ever having to open the settings app, which will make things hopefully much better. And so this is a new feature. They've been tweaking Bluetooth connectivity and improving upon it upon the last few versions of Windows 10. In the May and November 2019 update, there's some devices that can connect real easily um, using what is Swift Pair, but they are all Microsoft devices, keyboards, uh, mouse, and so on. But in 2004, version 2004, it's actually much more that's going to happen. Almost every device will have that possibility of just, you know, having a little pop up bubble from the quick action center, and all is going to happen through that little bubble rather than the settings. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.